In the unpredictable world of boxing, alliances and unexpected collaborations can send shockwaves through the sport. The latest development that has set the boxing community abuzz is the revelation that Mike Tyson, an undisputed legend in the heavyweight division, is teaming up with Manny Pacquiao, one of the most celebrated figures in boxing history. This unexpected partnership has drawn both intrigue and criticism, and perhaps unsurprisingly, Floyd Mayweather has not remained silent on the matter. In a recent series of fiery remarks, Floyd Mayweather, known for his outspoken nature both inside and outside the ring, unleashed his thoughts on Mike Tyson, aligning himself with Manny Pacquiao. Mayweather, who shares a storied history with Pacquiao, having faced him in the ring in a highly anticipated bout, didn't mince his words when addressing this unexpected collaboration. Mayweather, notorious for his strategic approach to both boxing and business, went off on Mike Tyson, questioning the motives behind Tyson's decision to train Pacquiao. The rivalry between Mayweather and Pacquiao has been etched in the annals of boxing history, with their 2015 bout being one of the highest-grossing pay-per-view events of all time. Mayweather emerged victorious in that encounter, solidifying his undefeated record. Now, with the prospect of Tyson, a ferocious and intimidating force in his prime, guiding Pacquiao's training, Mayweather has expressed his discontent. The comments made by Mayweather reflect not only the competitive spirit that defines the sport, but also the personal dynamics and history between the fighters. Mayweather's tirade against Tyson encompasses various aspects. He questioned Tyson's loyalty and integrity, suggesting that Tyson's decision to join forces with Pacquiao is a betrayal of the unwritten code among fighters. Mayweather has often emphasized the importance of loyalty and dedication to one's own team in the sport of boxing, and Tyson's move seems to have struck a nerve. Moreover, Mayweather alluded to the mind games and psychological warfare that might be at play in Tyson's involvement. Knowing Tyson's intimidating aura and the fear he instilled in opponents during his prime, Mayweather hinted that Tyson might be attempting to get into his head indirectly through training Pacquiao. This psychological dimension adds an intriguing layer to the narrative and showcases Mayweather's acute awareness of the mental aspects of the sport. Mayweather also took the opportunity to reassert his own achievements and undefeated record. His remarks suggested that, irrespective of who trains Pacquiao, the outcome of a potential rematch between them would ultimately depend on the fighters themselves and their abilities in the ring. Mayweather's confidence, a hallmark of his persona, was on full display as he brushed off the significance of Tyson's involvement. This public outburst from Mayweather has intensified the spotlight on the already captivating storyline surrounding Tyson's role in Pacquiao's camp. As fans and pundits speculate about the potential implications of this collaboration, Mayweather's reaction adds fuel to the fire, turning what was already a highly anticipated narrative into a full-fledged drama in the lead-up to a potential rematch. The world of boxing, known for its theatrics and larger-than-life personalities, thrives on such controversies and confrontations. Mayweather's candid and vehement response to Tyson aligning with Pacquiao has undoubtedly added an extra layer of drama to the ongoing saga, leaving fans eagerly awaiting further developments and the potential spectacle of a Tyson-trained Pacquiao entering the ring once again. We know that Mike Tyson and Floyd Mayweather have engaged in numerous exchanges, but the tables turned when Mayweather criticized Tyson for his Manny Pacquiao rematch prediction. Initially, Tyson had suggested that Mayweather needed to alter his fighting approach against Pacquiao, emphasizing the importance of staying active to avoid losing rounds. Tyson doubted Mayweather's ability to employ his usual strategic style against Pacquiao's dynamic and elusive movements. In Tyson's official prediction, he sided with Manny Pacquiao as the anticipated winner. Mike expressed his belief that Pacquiao would emerge victorious, emphasizing Pacquiao's constant movement and relentless energy which includes throwing punches from various angles. In contrast, Floyd Mayweather adopts a more strategic approach, focusing on accuracy rather than volume. Mike argued that Mayweather's style might not be sufficient to secure a victory unless he becomes more active in throwing punches. Furthermore, Mike Tyson disagreed strongly with Mayweather's claim of being greater than Muhammad Ali. Tyson described Mayweather as delusional 
and pointed out that if Mayweather truly approached the greatness of Ali, he should be able to handle everyday tasks like taking his kids to school independently. Tyson criticized Mayweather's apparent fear and small-mindedness, asserting that true greatness is recognized and accepted by the people, and Mayweather falls short in that regard. Following the widespread dissemination of his comments, Mike Tyson attempted to clarify his position while maintaining his belief that it is disrespectful to consider anyone superior to Muhammad Ali. In a statement, Tyson addressed an article that circulated without his consent, referencing a past incident and insinuating animosity towards Floyd Mayweather Jr. due to that incident. Tyson emphasized that the entire article was speculative and unfortunate, especially on the eve of a significant fight. Tyson clarified that he harbors no ill will towards Mayweather and holds a deep respect for his discipline both inside and outside the ring. Recognizing Mayweather as one of the greatest athletes in history, Tyson acknowledged that his comments during an interview were blown out of proportion. He explained that his disagreement with Mayweather's claim of surpassing Ali was rooted in the immense love and admiration he had for Muhammad Ali. Expressing regret for not exercising better discernment in his response, Tyson redirected the focus to the upcoming May 2nd bout and the economic impact it brings to Las Vegas. He sincerely wished both Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao the best of luck in what he described as a historical event on Saturday night. When the show's host repeatedly brought up Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson openly acknowledged his belief that Manny Pacquiao is far more captivating to watch in a fight. Tyson expressed that in all the years he has observed boxing, no fighter has appeared more sensational than Pacquiao did in his recent performance. Tyson challenged the host to name a fighter who looked more sensational than Pacquiao, asserting that such a choice would reveal a lack of understanding about boxing. Clarifying his point, Tyson emphasized that he wasn't comparing fighters' overall skills or declaring who is better. Instead, he highlighted Pacquiao's recent masterful display against Rios. Tyson praised Pacquiao's sideward movements, high punch output, and the effective prevention of Rios from landing significant punches. In Tyson's view, Pacquiao's performance stood out as truly sensational in the realm of boxing. Floyd Mayweather displayed nothing but respect for Mike Tyson, acknowledging Tyson's role in paving the way for his own success. Mayweather commended Tyson as a legendary champion and recognized that Tyson lived his life on his terms, facing judgment from others. Mayweather emphasized the lasting impact of boxing, asserting that he represents not just himself, but the Mayweather brand, bringing his unique style to the sport, particularly by prioritizing defense and avoiding unnecessary punishment. In response to Tyson's comments about a hypothetical street fight between them, Tyson expressed confidence in his ability to prevail, stating that he believed he could kick Floyd's ass in such a scenario. However, Tyson acknowledged Mayweather's technical prowess and predicted that if they were the same size, Mayweather might outpoint him due to his effective technique. This exchange took place before the fight between Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia. Mike Tyson expressed the view that Floyd Mayweather is no longer the face of boxing, declaring a forthcoming super fight involving Canelo as the first of the year. Tyson pointed out that while other great fighters have competed, only Canelo stands out as the one capable of drawing global attention in the absence of Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather, on the other hand, disagreed with Tyson regarding the number of boxing titles and passionately addressed the issue. Mayweather argued that the sport currently has too many champions, emphasizing that there's no such thing as a super champion. He highlighted the negative impact of the proliferation of titles, explaining that fighters have to pay a sanctioning fee for each belt they win, leading to an excess of champions after every fight. Mayweather criticized the various boxing organizations, WBC, WBA, IBF, and WBO, calling for a cleanup of the sport. He expressed concern about the prevalence of belts, likening them to trophies, and underscored the financial burden on fighters due to multiple sanctioning fees. Mayweather, including his own company in the call for change, urged the boxing community to address the issue and clean up the sport for its betterment. Mike strongly disagreed with Floyd Mayweather's perspective, viewing the proliferation of belts in boxing as an opportunity for fighters to earn more. According to Mike, there can never be too many belts because each championship fight brings additional income for the fighters. He argued that having just one champion in a division with 10 contenders would slow down the process. But with three champions, more fights can take place, allowing everyone to benefit financially. Mike perceived Floyd as excessively arrogant and believed that Floyd had unknowingly adopted this attitude from him. 
Despite acknowledging Floyd as an awesome and great fighter, Mike felt that Floyd was too absorbed in himself. Mike reflected on his own past arrogance but emphasized the importance of coming to terms with reality and avoiding excessive arrogance, considering their shared backgrounds and the journey they had both undertaken. In discussing the influence of role models, Mike suggested that Floyd might have looked up to him during their respective upbringings, comparing the impact of their personas and lifestyles, particularly the admiration and heroism associated with Mike's image. Mike Tyson has consistently expressed his belief that Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao should have a rematch. Tyson suggested that Mayweather should stick to fighting opponents in his own weight class rather than moving up to the cruiserweight division. He questioned Mayweather's decision to face Logan Paul, advocating for a smarter approach, such as making Paul lose weight to level the playing field. Reflecting on the Logan Paul fight, Tyson believed that the weight difference played a significant role, with Paul being a 190 pounder, essentially a heavyweight in Tyson's eyes. Tyson argued that Mayweather could learn from this experience, emphasizing the importance of fighting opponents closer to his own weight, around 155 or 160 pounds, to maximize earnings and maintain credibility. Mayweather, according to Tyson, remains indifferent to public opinion and believes that a rematch with Pacquiao makes sense for both fighters. Tyson drew a distinction between a boxer like Pacquiao, who officially retired from boxing, and others who continue to seek exhibition matches for financial gain. He acknowledged the financial appeal for Pacquiao to pursue an exhibition rematch with Mayweather for a substantial payday. Moreover, boxing legend Mike Tyson has not only entered the training camp of Manny Pacquiao, but has also made bold predictions about the outcome of a potential rematch between Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. Tyson, known for his raw power and ferocity in the ring, has expressed confidence in Pacquiao's abilities and has openly predicted that Pacquiao would emerge victorious in a hypothetical second encounter with Mayweather. Tyson's involvement in Pacquiao's training has added a layer of intrigue to an already captivating narrative in the world of boxing. Tyson, revered as one of the most dominant heavyweights in the history of the sport, brings a wealth of experience and knowledge to Pacquiao's corner. The announcement of Tyson joining Pacquiao's team sparked widespread curiosity and speculation about how this collaboration might impact Pacquiao's approach and performance. In recent interviews, Tyson has not shied away from sharing his views on the potential rematch between Pacquiao and Mayweather. Known for his candid and unfiltered commentary, Tyson has been vocal in expressing his belief that Pacquiao possesses the skills and tenacity to overcome Mayweather in their second meeting. Tyson's prediction is rooted in his appreciation for Pacquiao's fighting style, which he considers unique and challenging for opponents to handle. Tyson, who himself had an unconventional and formidable style during his prime, sees similarities in Pacquiao's ability to disrupt opponents' rhythm with speed, angles, and relentless aggression. Moreover, Tyson has highlighted Pacquiao's mental fortitude and determination as key factors that could play a pivotal role in securing victory. Tyson, having faced the psychological challenges of the sport, understands the importance of mental strength in high-stakes matchups. According to Tyson, Pacquiao's mindset and resilience give him an edge, especially when facing someone of Mayweather's caliber. Tyson's prediction has sparked debates and discussions within the boxing community. While some view Tyson's endorsement of Pacquiao as a testament to the Filipino icon's skills and potential improvements, others remain skeptical, pointing to Mayweather's undefeated record and defensive prowess as significant hurdles for Pacquiao to overcome. The Tyson-Pacquiao collaboration, coupled with Tyson's bold predictions, has not only reignited interest in the long-standing Mayweather-Pacquiao rivalry, but has also brought attention to the dynamics of mentorship and guidance in the sport of boxing. Tyson, who has experienced the highs and lows of a storied career, brings a unique perspective to Pacquiao's training, and his predictions are viewed as a blend of technical analysis and gut instinct. In the dynamic world of boxing, the unexpected alliance between Mike Tyson and Manny Pacquiao has not only sparked intense debates, but has also drawn the attention and criticism of none other than Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather's outspoken remarks have added a new layer of drama to an already captivating storyline, reigniting the flames of the Mayweather-Pacquiao rivalry. 
Mayweather's criticism of Tyson's involvement with Pacquiao goes beyond the realm of competition, delving into questions of loyalty, integrity, and the psychological gamesmanship inherent in the sport. The verbal sparring between these boxing legends has become a spectacle in itself, showcasing the personal dynamics and history between the fighters. As Tyson predicts a victorious outcome for Pacquiao in a potential rematch, citing Pacquiao's unique fighting style and mental fortitude, Mayweather remains confident in his own abilities and emphasizes the need for strategic adaptability. The contrasting perspectives of these iconic figures add fuel to the anticipation surrounding the prospect of a Mayweather-Pacquiao sequel. In the midst of the verbal jabs and predictions, both Tyson and Mayweather reflect on their own legacies and the evolving landscape of boxing. Tyson's bold predictions and candid commentary inject an element of unpredictability into the narrative, while Mayweather's call for a cleanup of the sport highlights broader issues, such as the proliferation of titles and the financial burdens on fighters. As the boxing world eagerly awaits official announcements and developments regarding the potential rematch, Tyson's predictions add an extra layer of anticipation and drama to the unfolding narrative. Whether Tyson's foresight proves accurate or not, his involvement in Pacquiao's corner has undeniably stirred the pot, making the build-up to a Mayweather-Pacquiao rematch a spectacle that transcends the boundaries of the boxing ring. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.